good afternoon and welcome everybody to Twerton Park for this afternoon's National League South fixture between Bath City and Weymouth. We come to the business end of the season with City having seven matches to go and in 10th spot will be games in hand on the clubs above them. It's a tricky juggling act for Jerry Gill, having lost two key players in his squad in Kieran Parcell and Luke Russ, both having suffered serious injuries and with one or two other players clearly carrying knocks. With only one victory in the last seven fixtures, City will be looking to get back to winning ways this afternoon. Nonetheless, Jerry Gill can look back at a good point gained at Worthing on Sunday, despite having twice led in that televised match. Of City's opponents today, their history over the 21st century can best be summed up as volatile. Virtually bankrupt twice, promoted and relegated almost annually, Weymouth continue to be a club in almost constant chaos. This time, it's the shock departure of manager Bobby Wilkinson, along with his staff. The club made the surprise announcement on Wednesday that they parted ways, despite the manager having a three-year contract. In his place, temporarily steps former Bath City goalkeeper Jason Matthews. Matthews had two spells at City, played ten games for Exeter, but spent most of his career on the south coast, making 326 appearances for the Terrors. My name's Andrew Kersley. Alongside me for our match commentary today is Chris Chappell and Alex Lane Keltica. Good Friday football, we love Good Friday football. The sun is shining, the sprinkler system was out earlier, Andrew, but luckily the sun is out and it's full brightness and beauty. And I tell you what, Twerton Park is getting rather cramped in some of these stands. Yeah, that is uh, definitely a good crowd in this afternoon. Uh, Weymouth also brought on a, a coach by the supporters. And, uh, but very good support here this afternoon. Weymouth will be kicking off and playing up the slope towards Bristol End. And we are underway here, Twitter Park, National League South. Good Friday action. It's Bath City versus Weymouth, a bit of a southwest derby here at Twerton Park. Dyer, another crossfield ball up towards Cook, and it will find Greenstay. Looks like the sun is getting in the defender's eyes at the moment because it's finding a secondary player as Greenstay tends to cross in, cleared away, only as far as. Hayfield, now back out to the left-hand side with Greenside. Has to come back though to Hayfield. Just halfway inside the Weymouth half now. Good looking cross in towards the back post. Clark is waiting, but it's going to be Smith in the box, who's just tackled at the clinical moment by Bearwish. And that was cleared up forward up towards Iden. Well, apparently it will be a play on nonetheless. As Wiles Richardson's a ball forward up towards Roberts, and he, has, he does try and take it past Boos, who did mistime the ball. And it will be a corner coming yep. to the linesman. Almost 10 minutes gone, nil-nil here. Now Weymouth have the first corner of the day. Parsons, who does really well to get past two defenders first, sends a cross in towards Goodship that time. Not able to divert it into the net, though. And now Clark can bring it away on that right-hand side. Against Hamburn, he skips past him there. Hamburn is holding on to him, but Clark is staying up strong. Right hand side of the box now. Send a left foot across into deep one though. No one there. And it will go out for a goal kick. But really good from you and Clark that time. Very good from Clark. Took away all the danger. And Smith can't quite win the ball back. It's in the midfield of Weymouth. Now it's with Rowan. Wilson does well to win the ball back. I think he's been fantastic so far. As Scott Wilson as Cook is able to spread the plate to the right hand side with Reigns. Overlapping ball towards Clark inside the box. Has to come back out though. Now Bates has Hayfield to his left, but a ball forward to Smith inside the box. It was a good ball. Smith trying to send a cross in. Now Reigns back to Clark. There's a bit of space ahead of him. Uses the left foot again to send a cross in. That is Cook, and it goes just over the bar. Great opportunity for City to take the lead there. 16 and a half minutes gone, still nil-nil. Yeah, that came on to Cook, and I just feel it was slightly at the right angle for him. He needed to be able to come on to the ball more. But to Greenside halfway inside the Weymouth half. Comes inside. Cook still on the ground, getting back up now. Bates looks up for an option. Really good from Bates there, growing into the game now, the midfielder, on loan from Derby County. And a ball over top towards Hayfield, inside the box now. Can send a cross, and he is brought down there. Neither referee or linesman called for anything. And it will be a goal kick. Hayfield not happy with that decision, Andrew. He looked to be pushed in the back by Bearwish. A long, long way away from us, but uh, Hayfield appearing, appealing there both to the referee's assistant and the referee He's still talking to him. He obviously uh, felt something in his back. Wilson on the left-hand side at the byline now. Goes back to Greensay, can send a cross in first time. It's a low one towards Cook. He may just take a shot with the left foot. Cleared away. Clark Cook still has it, though. Can go out to Greensay, does so. 
Sends a cross in, it's a low one, cleared away. Comes out to Bates, who's been, uh, been urged on to shoot there. Maybe I'll send a cross in towards Smith, it's a light header towards Wilson, and it's 1 0 to City. Joe Rain scores against his cousin, Harvey Wells Richards, to make it 1 0 to Bath City on Good Friday. 21 minutes gone. Well, Andrew, that is huge for this weekend already. Yeah, City did really well there. They kept the pressure on. Um, Cook and Wilson both firing forwards on that ball across goal. Uh, and uh, Reigns coming in just at the far post and scoring against, as you say, his, uh, his cousin. So, uh, family reunions are going to be good, you reckon? <laughs> So the, uh, yeah, Easter Sunday could be interesting in the Reigns household, couldn't it? So, well, almost 22 minutes gone here. That was Joe Reigns' first goal since December 2019 for City. They pass out to Dyer. As you mentioned, that was a fine header at Worthing last time out. So he did the right thing, didn't he? He headed the ball down with some force and velocity. Yeah. Made it very difficult for the keeper to get to it. Definitely. Nice balling from Bates as well from the corner. Sort of flat delivery. So it's Clark scrapping. And then with a lovely pull away. Just past the halfway line and draws a foul and goes down. Braintree up in third, actually. The long way behind Chelmsford and, of course, the Oval Town at the top. Free kick comes in, it drops on the edge of the box for Weymouth player. Bearwish can't get a toe on it. Hayfield turns and then tries to make room. And Bearwish again snaps into the challenge. Hamblin's throw again, met by a city head. Volleyed back towards the Bath goal and Smith loses out. Parsons tries a speculative chip from 30 yards out, but it drifts into the crowd behind the goal. But uh, City have had one big chance and taken it on the goal line. Joe Reigns, the scorer. Now Hayfield with room on the right wing, carries it towards the byline, tries a low cross. That's blocked by the centre back Panther, and it's taken a deflection. It's going to be a top scorer. Good chip by the looks of things, too. Swing it in. There's four yellow shirts on the edge of the 18-yard box. It's played in towards the centre-back Panther. Greenstate has to hurry to clear it away. Goes straight up in the air. Thompson heads it goalwards and it's straight at Buse with nobody around him. Rolled out to Greenslade, left-hand side. Short pass to Wilson. Heavy touch and O'Connell's caught there by Scott Wilson. It's just a heavy touch. He has actually got a yellow card, yeah. Yeah, good composure there. Sometimes he tends to play just a little bit too quick, but that was really good from him. Nice layoff. And the Panther struggling to get the ball under control with Cookerland. Ball is partially cleared. Now it's Hamblin under pressure from Hayfield. It's dug out up towards the halfway line. Weymouth still have the ball with good shit. Sends it down the flank, but it's too far away from Dan Roberts. So Avery pulled a goal back in their game. Teddy Howe on the right-hand side, threads it through to Goodship. Right side of the box and it's fired straight at Idahan from close range. Corner from the right-hand side, curled in towards the near post low. It's an awkward one to clear for Cook, but he does so unchallenged. It's up towards Wilson, it's being held by Barish. No free kick, ball rolls back into the possession of Howe, gives it to the goalkeeper on the edge of his box, Smith comes to meet him, and Harvey Wiles Richards plays it forward. Now it's Rowan out on the right, plays it short inside, and now it's Parsons, who seems the most lively of the Weymouth front six so far. Cross from the right is blocked, as Bearish tried to get it into the area. Parsons again, Runs into trouble, now it's with Clark, who tries to take it out to the right-hand side. Hamblin's close to him. Inside and outside, Clark keeps the ball, and then another one of the player comes in. No foul. Hayfield almost gets hold of it. And it's back with the Terrors. As it's played through towards Dan Roberts, but again, it's a poor through ball. Controlled by Panther. It's definitely getting scrappy, this, isn't it? There's lots of little niggles and fouls. Nothing desperately serious, but enough to disrupt the game. Yeah. Clark down the right-hand side, goes to the byline, tries to chip it back with a good challenge. Gets a block on from Hamblin. 
swung in straight in towards the gloves of Wiles Richards. It was Reigns putting lots of power on it, but not perhaps the required direction. Just a few seconds before half time, he just wanted to get it into the, the danger zone and see what happens. Nice layoff by Clark. Hayfield bumped over in front of the referee and a free kick, which is around 35 yards from goal. He was quite close there to that challenge. Hayfield knocked over. Curled in by Bates, looking for Dyer at the far post. He's going to have to try and retrieve it. Can't get there before it goes out. Here he comes, a little stuttering runner in towards the near post. Drops and is poked away, and that's the last action of the half. Bar City lead at the break by a goal to nil. Thanks to Joe Reigns midway through the first half from an inch away from goal on the goal line. Ball goes forward up towards Roberts, but Boos comes way off his line, outside his box to clear it forward up towards Cook, who's dragged down by a Moscow referee. There's a few times today where I've shaken, shaken, shaken my head a little bit, thinking, what is the referee? How has he missed that? But, uh, I don't really yeah. understand that. I mean, we could so clearly see that. Smith does well to win the ball back on the left-hand side for Greenside, halfway inside his own half. Ball over top of Wilson to run on two. He should win that foot race, and he will do. Clark, the only person in the box now. Wilson comes inside, may just take a shot, does so! Goes just wide. As well as Richards got down low to his left as he tried to find that bottom corner, Scott Wilson, still 1-0 to City. Yeah, good attempt by Wilson there. And uh, absolutely left the defence for dead in running forward. Switches up to the right-hand side. Does well to find O'Connell. Now it is here with Jones into crossing, cleared away by Wilson. Cook will try and battle for that one. And always pumped forward that time by Thompson. Was intercepted very easily, and Reigns tries to bring it inside for Cook, but Smith will be able to run onto this one. It will be thrown on goal. Gets the keeper, tries to put it past him, but whilst Richards makes himself big, and Smith probably took a bit too much time to take that shot. May have been better going around the keeper. The ball was bobbling a fair bit in front of him. Yeah, he just didn't look like he he was confident to score there. We'll take on Greenside. Bates next to him as well. Overlapping run. Here it comes then from Jones. Back to O'Connell. Sends a cross in now, it's a deep looking cross and it, well, was it almost converted in by Roberts, but it was too light and Boos was able to collect it. It was interesting earlier seeing Dan Greenslade do a long throw. I think it's the first time I've seen him attempt that. I noticed that as well. I thought it was, it was definitely an interesting decision to find Dyer and did well. Now it's with Wilson inside the box. After Greenslade lays it off for him, has three yellow shirts around him, does well to find Greenslade. He'll send a cross in, looping cross towards Smith cleared away, comes out to Hayfield, should just take a shot, but just goes past him. Now Greenside in the box, takes a shot. Great block by Rowan that time. And now comes out to Roberts, who's taking it over the halfway line. As dispossessed once again, Bates. And so Smith is just lingering on the edge of the area if it comes out to him. Here comes the long throw, then up towards Wilson and Dyer. Dyer does win the head, it comes out to Smith, and it's over the bar on the volley. Well, that was definitely out of the training ground, that one, because that's exactly where Reigns wanted Smith to be. And Dyer did really well to head it down for the mullet man himself, who can't quite find the back of the net, but what a finish that would have been, yeah, Andrew. That was well taken, and the second chance that Smith has had this afternoon. On the right-hand side of the box, goes back to Jones. Can bring it inside to Parsons if he wants to. Instead, he lays it off in the box for Bearwish. Out to O'Connell, near the corner flag now, coming inside towards the byline, and it's a, well, I don't know, almost missing the ball completely. And uh, Roberts puts it just wide there. Still 1-0 here at Twerton Park then. The Reigns try and run onto it, but Clark will get there first. And almost an interesting uh, challenge there by Goodchip, who did leave his leg dangling. It's a heavy touch by Boos, and he has to get put it away himself to, out for a throw-in. Well, sometimes you'd... Uh, you just want your keeper just to clear it first time, and, well, Vassell's going to get a talking to here, and he will be booked. He held yeah. onto the ball for a bit too long there. Well, City getting ready to make a substitution. It's going to be Elliot Freer that'll be coming on, and uh, Jack Bates is going off. Jordan Thomas and Cook, the other scorers. Well, here is Freer. First touch. Sends a cross in. Out towards Clark. May just take a shot. <laughs> oh, he does have a left foot. It's blocked down, cleared away, and that could have been a straightaway assist for, for uh, Elliot Freer. Now it is Clark on the right-hand side of the box, looking towards the byline. Has Reigns on the overlap. Sends a cross in. Good-looking cross towards Freer. Gets the header. Well, Elliot Freer making his, his presence known very quickly. Yeah. 
One very good cross and one header. And Dyer does incredibly well to keep the ball away from Roberts that time. And he also clears it away himself on the second time of asking. There's a bear wish decides to try and take a shot from range. And that's a great shot, great opportunity from Rowan there. It was just over the bar, and I'm not sure if Boos got a hand to it if it took a slight deflection, but it is a corner nonetheless for Weymouth. Jones, Rollinson, the two substitutions linking up now. Still with Rollinson, and he gets the cross completely wrong with the left foot, and uh, just trickles into the feet of Boos. Clark knocks it up towards Wilson, and it's cleared away by Weymouth into the Bath City half. Dyer controls it well, but then gives the ball away, and there's a stream of yellow shirts coming forward here two to his left and a chance here for Roberts who puts it just off target to the left of goal a waste really for Weymouth Dyer caught in possession gave the ball away and uh, they suddenly have like four forward there Weymouth now Parsons to his left is good ship top scorer tries to knock it upfield to Bearwish again Parsons over the top Bearwish is interested in it Idahan and Boos come together, luckily the ball clears the box, I didn't, slightly dazed by that, and Boos holding his shoulder yeah. as they collided. I think Boos has damaged that left shoulder of his, I'm not sure if that's the same shoulder that he had the injury earlier in the season. Yeah. Well, hopefully at the moment it's just a knock, um, nothing more serious than that, but uh, it looks like play will start again. Dyer with a free kick from further up the field. It's controlled well by Cook, edge of the box, onto his right side, and then he tried to get a shot off. And the defender, Thompson, was very close and deflected it away for a corner. Corner from the right, swung in by Freer, headed out back to Freer on the right-hand side. Gets onto his left foot again, little chip this time. Again, it's cleared. Smith will keep the move going. Clark, right-hand side, straight back to Smith. He then looks to his left, and he didn't spot that uh, there was a man there, which is Rollington, I think. Oh, sorry, it was uh, Parsons, and now good ship. Left side of the box, back onto his right foot. Lays it off, shot is blocked from Rowan, who had that screamer that was tipped over a few minutes ago. Yeah, I think it was Smith that actually blocked it, and uh, that was a terrible error by him yeah. earlier. The pass across field, both dangerous and in the end, could have been suicidal. Isaac Purcell uh, coming on, and uh, Ewan Clark. Exiting the fray, which again I, I think is a wise move, particularly if Clark's going to play on Monday yeah. on, a, on a heavy pitch. Then uh, he's battled away this afternoon. Yeah, heavy strapping on his knees. Looks a bit disconsolate as he comes off. And uh, the ball is up on the right hand side. It's early touch for Ezio Torre. Good turn in the middle. And Parsons goes for goal. It's a slightly slow effort, I think Bews was just waiting for it to arrive and then stuck out his right arm and pushed it wide. Corner from the left-hand side to be taken by Leo Hamblin for Weymouth. Plays it away from goal near the penalty spot, header comes down, it was Torre who jumped, but it's cleared away up towards Wilson. Under pressure from Bearwish, who's really tussling with him, then Smith joins in, but the ball breaks kindly for Bearwish, who carries the ball into midfield, then finds the substitute Rollinson on the left. Goes on the outside, which is not his strongest side. Back onto his right foot. Rollinson crosses into the near post, and it had to be dealt with there by Duncan Idahan. Knocks it out for a corner. City, Still. 13 minutes to go. 1 0 in the lead. Yeah, so another corner in. Bues gets something on it. Then Smith heads the ball out from the 18 yard line. It's a flick on from Wilson. It's played back up to the left. And Hamblin, low ball in, looking for Torre. And fires it across the goalkeeper and inside the far post. Weymouth have levelled things and it's the substitute, Ezio Torre, who makes it 1-1. Well, you can't say that uh, we didn't suggest that it was coming and uh, a great move by Torre, the substitute. Only just come on the field, down the left-hand side for a very tight angle, flicked it across and over the city keeper and into the left-hand side of his goal. And, uh, well, Weymouth in this last five or six minutes have begun to pile on the pressure. City looking tired, couldn't get out of their half of the field. And it's Weymouth now drawing level 1-1. Here comes Reigns with the throw. Dyer jumps and it's flicked by Idahan. Thumped away by Thompson. Sent it very long. Greenslade has to watch it in the air. Sun 
being lower in the sky. And the Romans faces here by Jones and then sent forward towards Roberts who controls it well and the pressure from Reigns. No foul from Joe Reigns, he's then tripped. And the referee allows play to go on once more. Freer with room to run. He stayed ahead of it. Crosses himself and gets underneath the ball again, looks at the pitch as it flies to the back of the terrace. Kicked in the ground just about by the fans in the back row. It's given us a throw in front of the popular terrace. Good turn, and now Parsons thinking about a shot, which is deflected through to Buse. With the sun in the eyes, it's very awkward. Anything flying in at the goalkeeper at head level, really. Oh, and Cook had a touch of the ball and then got hacked down by Thompson with a very late challenge. And a yellow for the former Hereford and Gloucester man. So here comes Fridge, a little chip towards Idahan. Good header from Dyer, just clears the bar. Well, we mentioned James Alabi, the last throw of the dice for City. He's about to come on. The Alabi, Smith Wilson going off. And Hayfield tries to turn, but he's lost out to Rowan. And now Parsons, edge of the box, shifts it. It's uh, Rollinson. Turns and turns, the right back, Jones is up, back to Rollinson again. Bearwish to his left, takes a touch. City with lots of players behind the ball here. Forcing them out wide. Weymouth looking for the winner. Hamblin almost forgets the ball as he turns. Bearwish, Skipper gives it inside. And the shot from Parsons is come off Dyer. And he's put wide. Unbelievable, Robinson, but the flag is up to save his blushes. Let's see, the flag has remained up, but yeah, it could be. He missed the chance either way, as uh, the ball fell. <laughs> He's got his shirt in his mouth. I'm not sure how he missed that. He was so Take close the... to the goal. <laughs> 90 minutes. Well, now up as free. Curls in towards Dyer, he gets his head on it, but he's underneath the ball slightly and goes over the bar. Yeah, he needed to arrive later on that ball, Dyer. He was almost standing there and it just pinged off his head. Didn't really get any power off easily over the crossbar. So just five minutes for City to try and force a victory this afternoon. Effort from the right-hand side was too close to the keeper. It's curled towards Hayfield and Dyer tries to control it on his thigh. Dyer again forces it goalwards, but it's more through effort than any direction. And now Wiles Richards with the overarm throw. It's a Schmeichel-esque delivery down the left wing for Roberts. Controls it. Takes on Reigns and goes down. No free kick. It's going to be a goal kick. But I think they'll be happy with a point if it ends 1-1. And we're into the final minute of added time. Ball over the top, Torre, who scored the equaliser, has got a chance, controls it inside the box, and a sliding challenge, beautifully done by Jordan Dyer. Left footer from the left side, it's a far post delivery, headed out, and then Freer flicks it on, Smith controls it, looks up, sees Alabi, and it's one against two here, Bearish is covering him, and Weymouth trying to get back, Bearish is using his straight there, but he does well with Alabi bundling into him and the final whistle blows Philippi Eddie gives us the uh, completion of this game it ends 1-1 and that's now just one win in eight after a fine win of five straight wins that took City to fourth in the table and just that playoff push is stumbling a bit now isn't it it is and uh, you feel this afternoon it, it looked like a game between two sides that were tired they yeah. just couldn't wait for the end of the season playing on pitch and uh, City I mean they had their purple patch in the first half really after and around the goal it was 20 minutes there where they were really dominant and then again in the second period Smith had those two good chances Wilson as well um, you feel one of those had to go in to make it 2-0 and maybe just tie the game up we said all along as long as it remained 1-0 as long as Weymouth hung on to that they were always in this match and sure enough uh, they proved that to be true with a fine goal uh, from Toure from a very narrow angle. You wonder why he wasn't on the pitch earlier. Yeah, yeah, because for all Roberts good run, he, he didn't really have a goal throughout this afternoon. And the top scorer playing out on the left wing, good ship, as uh, you think he'd be more effective through the middle. But yeah, that one-on-one -on -one from Smith, probably a really, really 
huge chance for, for the Romans there. And like you say, we were talking about earlier, that perhaps he could have just shifted the keeper to one side and he just tried to fire it at him. And, uh, it was a good save from Miles Richards in the end. And a fantastic bank holiday card here, wasn't it? Oh, in yeah. 1945. Yeah. Um, I mean, nearly 2,000 here for a league game. Fair play. I mean, Weymouth will have brought a few. Uh, maybe 100, 150 of those from, from Weymouth. But uh, you have to say the home support this afternoon really good. And thank all of you for listening to us this afternoon. 1,945 in Turton Park today to see a 1-1 draw between Bath City and Weymouth. Do get down to Taunton on Monday, assuming that match to be on. City will need every ounce of support they can get. But if you can't get there, you can join us on Bath City Radio.